when international business continuity standards broke fresh ground by focusing on resources, some practitioners developed a neat little 15-point prompt to map dependencies. We found that this was, and is, a good data gathering tool, but thought, what if we could make it do more? What if we could use the maps of the resource profile, shown here at A, and add value by mapping risk even before a disruption event? This would enable us to both build resilience and reduce or even prevent risk. Keeping it as complex as necessary, but as simple as possible, we developed an integrated risk assessment element by folding the 15 prompts into an Excel spreadsheet. Let's see how that works. Let's take a pretty straightforward illustration on the top line over here under the first of the P's, people and key staff in terms of resources at risk. Let's say we're having a look at uh, Bill. Now Bill, he's a linchpin. So in terms of criticality, I can't do without him. He manages a single point of failure. So we'll put him in as a five. In terms of vulnerability, a little bit trickier because for people, well, as you can see by the drop down screen there, that can be about a range of factors, their health, their behavior. In this case, Bill, he keeps too much know-how in his head and he loves to put that know-how on a fast motorbike with no helmet. So vulnerability, hmm, that's probably high. In which case, if we come across to the edge of the screen, we can see that the before impact risk on our organization is extremely high, red, and we need to do something about it. At minimum, we should be entering some mitigative actions, some interventions. So if we put in a couple of those, we could mentor a successor, we could record the knowledge, both would strengthen our intellectual property and its protection, and for him personally, we could encourage wearing of a helmet. The beauty of this spreadsheet is that it's very flexible. You can insert more lines where you need to cover people, their skills, the staffing levels, premises, providers, processes you rely on, or issues around reputation. Not only can you map the risks associated with those before an event, you can record the range of prevention initiatives which should be continued to a level where resilience is assured. When the organization is hit by a disruption event, only one measure needs to be put into that Excel spreadsheet to completely inform decision making. Those impact assessments will provide decision makers with solid information Let's see how that works. So we're back to Bill and we've had a disruption event. I know that he's not going to be at work. So the question is, what does that mean? Well, I've already got some mentoring in place, but he's not going to be available. In fact, he won't be back off that bike ride or for at least another week. So I have to score him a five. That means in terms of the functions Bill provides us for the business, I need to invoke this mentor. I need to get into this column and suggest a solution which involves immediately getting a replacement. And that is then flicked off, acted on, and the problem is solved.